So we're continuing our benchmark unit three, okay? This time is just week three and the animals adaptations, okay? Day one. Kaka! Welcome back. I can't believe it's already week three. Time sure flies by. <laughs> okay, essential question. How do living things adapt to change? Okay, that's what I'm Now reading about. the first half of One Body, Many Adaptations on pages 22 to 25 in Animal Adaptations. All right, so let's go ahead and read those. Extended Read 2. Remember to annotate as you read. One Body, Many Adaptations by Judy Black Animals live in many different places. Some animals live in hot deserts. Others live in frigid oceans. However, all have become adapted to where they live. Where an animal lives determines its adaptations. Animals rely on these special features to survive. Adapted body parts are called structural adaptations. An animal might use body covering, camouflage, and special body parts to survive. The octopus, the penguin, and the camel are animals with many structural adaptations. The octopus's body covering helps it hide. The octopus. The octopus lives in the ocean. Its body is very soft and slimy. This slimy exterior lets an octopus slide into small spaces between rocks on the ocean floor. Its body covering helps the octopus hide from its predators. The octopus also uses camouflage to survive. There are many different colors on the ocean floor. To blend into its surroundings, the octopus has projections sticking out of its skin and special color-changing skin cells. Within one second, its body can match the colors, patterns, and textures around it. The octopus is much like the chameleon in this way. The projections on this giant octopus help it blend into its surroundings. Body parts to survive. An octopus's body has several parts that help it survive, too. Its best known body parts are its eight arms with suction cups. An octopus uses its arms for moving, hunting, eating, tasting, and even mating. If it loses an arm, no problem. Another arm will grow in its place. To get away from a predator, an octopus will squirt black ink from its body. The predator cannot see. Then the octopus can escape unnoticed. An octopus also has a body part that helps it escape quickly. A funnel-shaped tube shoots out water that helps propel the octopus. The octopus mainly eats shellfish. It uses its mouth to hold down prey and to eat. Its powerful beak-like jaws break open the shells. Its razor-sharp tongue scoops the animals out. Adaptations of an octopus. Type. Adaptation. How it helps. Camouflage. Color cells in skin. Projections on skin. Blend in with surrounding colors. Blend in with surrounding textures. Body parts. Eight arms with suction cups. Black ink. Funnel. Beak. Move. Hunt. Eat. Taste. Mate. Block predator's sight. Squirt water to propel fast. Open shells. Hold down prey. Eat. Body covering. Soft and slimy. Squeeze into tight spaces. The penguin. Penguins mostly live in very cold places, such as Antarctica. These flightless birds swim a lot. They spend more than half of their time swimming in icy ocean waters. Predators fly above them and swim below them. 
So, how does the penguin survive these challenges? Adaptations. First, the penguin's body covering helps it survive in cold places. Under its skin, the penguin has a layer of fat called blubber. This layer keeps the penguin warm. So do its feathers. Like the duck, the penguin has oil on its feathers to keep its skin dry and warm. Next, the penguin uses camouflage to survive. Its coloring helps keep it safe. The penguin's black back blends in with the dark water. This makes it hard for predators flying above to spot a penguin swimming. Its white belly blends in with the snow and sunlight. This white coloring makes it hard for predators swimming below to spot them. Okay, time to find key details. Remember, key details are the need-to-know details that help the reader understand the main idea. Think about what the main idea of each section might be and only underline important details that support that idea. Purpose. Reread paragraphs 1 to 12 to find out about an octopus's and a penguin's adaptations. Annotate. Underline key details as you read and write possible main ideas in the margins. Right. <clears throat> so we're going to work on um, page 13. Okay, and we're going to identify, identify key details and main ideas. All right. Great job. So let's go ahead and do that. So one of the key details for an octopus, he lives where? Yeah, in the ocean. Okay. He has a slimy body. Slimy body helps it slide between rocks. And hide. Pretty cool, man. What does he use to blend in? Starts with a C. Camouflage. Camouflage, yes. He uses camouflage. Sorry. Camouflage. To survive. And what does he project out? Yeah, you're right. Out of its, out of skin, and color skin cells. And then he has a. Yeah. And then here's for the penguin. He swims a lot in icy ocean water. What does he use to keep it warm for a penguin? 
Yes. A what? Blubber, yes. Blubber and his feathers. Keep it warm. And his black back and white belly protects it from predators. Okay, so the main idea for both of them is an octop octopuses, an octopus, and penguins body and covering sorry, body covering. and body parts help it survive in icy ocean waters. That's pretty much the main idea of the passage.